And we are go for launch. Greetings, YouTube. Chris Salamon here, and I thought I'd give a shout out to Tori Moro, this bomb YouTube channel that I subscribe to and definitely watch every video of religiously. Uh, she suggested that I read this book, Lexicon, and you know, I'm happy to say, definitely worth the read, and uh, we should talk about it. So without further ado, Lexicon. Before we jump into it, a few things. So a few days ago, I decided to set this really ambitious reading goal. You know, summer, etc., etc. Also, I've stashed up on an extreme amount of tea. Not that you cared. Nevertheless, this is my June plan. Uh, birders would call this a June challenge. <laughs> um, June hasn't started yet. And I guess it's not really a, a, a legit June plan because I've technically already read two of the pile, so I'll briefly discuss them, and then we'll spend the remainder of the video on lexicon. So before I start, just finished this behemoth, which is actually three behemoths uh, by N.K. Jemison, an amazing book and an, an incredible author. If you've never read her work, she does really high bar, really intense, well-written stuff. Can't even tell you what it's about, because frankly, it's about everything and also nothing, beginnings and endings and everything in between. So if you're into the genre of sci-fi fantasy, which is probably why you turned into a YouTube channel called Observable Universe, <laughs> then this book must be on your reading list. Super neat, and I guarantee you won't be disappointed. It's heavy, though, so watch out. Your arms are going to get tired. I also hope to read Tim Dorsey, Clownfish Blues. I've probably read about 10 of the Surge Storm novels. They're like Florida serial killer books. If you like Carl Hyacin, Tim Dorsey is like Carl Hyacin turned up about 2 and 11. So uh, totally worth your time also, but also viewer discretion can be pretty extreme. So uh, perhaps not for everybody. But if you love Florida history or just quirky, weird stuff, any news article that starts with Florida Man, this is a cool series. Fiction, though, not sci-fi or fantasy. I like to branch out. Metro 2035, uh, given to me by a student whom I will not name. I believe this is the final in a trilogy, so I have some other books to read, perhaps 2033, 2034 or something. And I look forward to those. I think post-apocalyptic dystopia type scenario, also Russia. Sounds neat. And then two more, Winter World, which is, I believe, kind of like a, I don't know if you remember Water World, which is like a Kevin Costner thing. Dry land is not a myth. I've seen it. I don't think this book is going to be anything like Waterworld, uh, and, but if it were, I'd be into it, rest assured. Um, but I, I, th I do think it's going to have a similar climate apocalypse vibe and having, you know, places where people can live and where they can't based on uh, ice and cataclysmic war, apparently. Perhaps with nature, perhaps with man, or perhaps within. Uh, maybe all three. We'll see. It should be cool. And then I also just started reading Rosewater, uh, and if you're into biodomes and also aliens, you know, a lot of Polly Shore fans out there, this book is the jam. It's super well written. I'm only like 60 pages in, so I can't conclusively say best plot of all time, but very good introduction and super compelling. Highly recommend at least the first 60 pages. I'll probably do a review on this at a future date. So just tune in at that time without further ado. Okay, so Lexicon by Max Berry. Super neat book. I believe Mr. Barry is Australian, and I also think that this is the kind of book that back in the day when people traveled on planes pre-pandemic, you would pick this up at the airport and then read the entire thing from your flight to, you know, Atlanta to Seattle in one sitting. I read it in a few days, and, you know, I'm, I don't have insane amounts of time. This is an incredibly fast, fun book. Also, if you were an English major or you have any interest whatsoever in the written language, Lexicon is super cool because the, the main sort of heroes, there are two characters. I don't want to call them necessarily heroes. You know how it is. Um, but uh, they revolve around this idea that there's a secret government agency or group that has, instead of you know law enforcement officers, they have poets. And these poets use words to alter situations and they can compel people to do things not just on persuasion by using words which force the brain to take commands so super interesting uh the front cover says an npr best book of the year time magazine top 10 fiction book of the year 
I kind of agree. I thought this was super fun. It's going to stick with me because of the concept. I think it's really neat. And the whole thing revolves around these two characters, one of which is a girl named Emily Ruff, who uh, roofs it on the streets of San Francisco. She's discovered sort of tricking people into giving her money with her persuasive and hand techniques, I guess. Uh, and then the other is a character named Will. Will, <laughs> who um, is involved in a different way, and I don't want to spoil it, but uh, just, you know, it goes chapter by chapter with one character having a series of events and the other character having a series of events. And uh, as you go through this thing, you're going to realize you're probably going to read 50, 100 pages at a time if you have the time, because it reads so fast and it's very interesting. One thing I thought was super cool, I would say that uh, if you're into a fun read, if when you go to the movie theater, you just want to be entertained. You pick up a book, you're looking for pop fiction, you just want to get in, get out, and be entertained. This is an amazing book, and it's probably for you. If your favorite movie of all time is Triple X with Vin Diesel, this book is going to be your jam of jams. However, my one critique, it's not all good news, uh, bad news, is that Lexicon is not high literature. It's not high fantasy. You're not going to come out of the conclusion and say, I didn't expect that. That was really surprising. In fact, you're probably going to get to the end and say, okay, yeah, that's probably what I thought was going to happen. There's a little bit of a twist, but there's nothing too insane that occurs. And I think by the time of you, you get to the end, you'll probably just wish the fun would continue, sort of like the Da Vinci Code was. <laughs> um, but if you're if you read sci-fi fantasy because you want literature, you want um, you want complex plot ideas and criticism and rhetorical devices everywhere, then this is your author, N.K. Jemisin, for sure, because there's a lot more substance here. However, if you want entertainment and lots of form instead of substance, Lexicon is the jam, and it's a book I would buy again. Also, not if I lost it, which I hope I won't, but I would also for sure buy another book by Max Berry because I thought it was super cool. So with all that said, uh, Lots to read, lots to think about, and I hope you guys do pick up a copy. Perhaps I'll review some of these other weird books in the near future. But in the meantime, cheers.